All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, today I'm going to show you how to replace a fuel pump and fuel filter on a 2002 Mercury Sable LS. Now, let me explain to you about fuel pumps, okay? When the manufacturer makes a fuel pump, they put it in a the car, they know that fuel, that fuel pump's got to pump that gas through the fuel line, through the fuel pressure regulator, uh, and before that, the fuel filter. And any kind of resistance other than that on that fuel pump will diminish the life of that fuel pump. Now, let me put it in layman's terms. Let's check this out. Say if you got a flat, a flat road that's a mile long. And now you're jogging along this road. Yeah, you're just jogging. As long as there's no resistance, you can probably do that mile with no problem. Now, the more of an incline that one mile road is, the harder it is for you to do that mile. This is the same thing as a fuel pump. Now the fuel pump is, now you and the fuel pump are the same thing. So you run along this one mile road, and you're the fuel pump now, and you gotta go through the, through the fuel filter, through the fuel pressure regulator. The more dirt that clogs up in that fuel filter, the more of an incline you're going up on that road. The more dirt that's in the tank, that's, that's why they say do not run your tank low in gas. The more dirt picks up in that fuel pump, the more that fuel pump got to strain, the more incline it is. So you want to make sure that road stays as level as possible. Now on the car terms, what you want to do is regularly, you want to make sure you change your fuel filter. Uh, any uh, Get some gas cleaner, fuel cleaner once in a while. Make sure you keep that fuel pump uh, going good, the least resistance as possible. And your fuel pump can last for you years i mean years um like for instance our car number 22 the 2000 mercury cougar it's a 2000 the car is 17 years old and the fuel pump is great no problems at all so the fuel pump can go forever if you take care of your vehicle all right so we're going to do the fuel pump on this and we're going to change the fuel filter just in case all right so let's jack this car up, get it up on jack stands jack stands is very very important i cannot express that enough Jack stands are very important. So we're going to get this car jacked up, put it up on jack stands. Let's get this fuel tank out of here. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. We got our car jacked up. Got it secured on jack stands. And I got my hydraulic jack still over there. And I got a piece of cardboard up under here. All right, let's get up under here. And here's our fuel tank. Right there. And there's our fuel filter. Right there. Now the first thing we want to do is disconnect the lines going to the fuel tank. And you notice here's the straps. These straps are going to hold the fuel tank. I'll show you those in a minute. All right, the first thing we're going to do is here's our filler neck right here. This is where you put the gas in. It goes in through these lines. So we got two clamps right here. What you're going to do is take your regular screwdriver and you want to loosen up both of those clamps. Loosen them up enough to get them pulled back. All right. Yeah. Got eating dirt up under here, man. Luckily, I good thing I good because I ate dirt as a kid. I'm used to it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got that it's off. So now we want to take our hands and you want to twist the lines. And if they have a, give you a hard time like that, take that same flat screwdriver. You want to stick it right between there to break the seal off and then you can use your screwdriver to slowly push them lines back all right there's one all right let's get this back here and let's use our Phillips screwdriver matter of fact being that this is in the way it keeps sliding back we're gonna uh, we're gonna go back the other way but it's okay all right, let's get our screwdriver and we're gonna break the seal because there's a seal around it because it's because it's been up here for so long this thing is like it's sealed up to that so we're gonna get our screwdriver and without damaging the holes just go around it you want to break that seal around there there we go okay and i just saw the whole holes turn so There we go. Got 
got that off. Now, see this line right here? This is your vent line coming from the tank. And you can see that's sealed up right there. That's no way of getting that off. So what you want to do here, we're going to disconnect this another way. Number one way is this right here. See this clip? Let's see if I can, let's get this clamp out of the way. Put this up here, just in case. All right, now, this yellow clip right here, you see that, how that lines right there? On the top of this, there's a tab. You wanna push that tab down, squeeze it down until you see those open up. See that? And then when you open, pull it, take your other hand and pull that line out. So, uh, let me see if I can get up under here. Put the camera on my chest. Squeeze that down and pull that out, just like that. So that, this is just like that. Now, we're pretty much disconnected from there. Then we're gonna go up here to the fuel line. Now, what we're gonna do is disconnect the inlet. Here's the fuel filter right here. We're gonna disconnect the inlet. And we gotta pull that tab out of there. And then we're gonna disconnect the other line right here, which is basically very easy to do. Let's get up here, because that's all we're gonna have to do here is squeeze those two little tabs. There's two little tabs right there. Squeeze them in, and get up under there. And that thing's gonna pop right out of there. And then it looks like we got a screw right up here. I think they got that going too. That's okay. We get a pair of vice grips. Well, probably a screwdriver or something. What we're gonna do is just get us some vice grips and just loosen that up. All right, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. What I'm gonna do, because this line is going to the fuel tank. So what I'm gonna do is get me a pair of vice grips slowly unscrew grab this thing now, why didn't they put a regular bolt there I have no idea so what I'm going to do is sit here with my vice grips take this out it should be short Actually, just, it's already Needle nose. Alright, so I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna get that bolt out of there. Alright, be right back. Alright, just wanna give you a little update as you can see. I'm doing really good here. Just got a little bit more. Let's get that out, be right back. All right, we got that out. Here's a little screw. And this is a Torx socket that goes in a Torx bolt, T27. Now what we're gonna do here is get us a T27, because if we follow this line down, you see it's bolted up right there. So I got a T27 3H drive with a 12 inch 3H drive extension with my 3H drive ratchet. And what I'm gonna do is go up in there And unbolt that. That's so we can get a little more leverage and pull that line down to disconnect it. All right, let's get that and we'll be right back. All right, got the bolt out. And as you can see now, so we can bring this line down here. That's great. Let's bend it down a little bit. And what you want to do here is there's a clip, one right here. See that clip right there? Push that side in and push the other side in and you're going to back that line right off of there. All right, and you're going to need two hands to do this. Let me see if I can set you down right about there and get this down here. Squeeze those clips in on both sides. And should be able to pull that off. And 
sometimes this, these things are, can be really difficult to squeeze in. You know, and if you have a problem like I'm having right now, use a pair of hose pliers. The hose pliers. Grab that thing on both sides. Still stuck in here. Dang it! All right, let's try this. That's one side. You can tell this thing is not too easy. And you know what I might do? I might get the tool to take that off. Let's do it that way. Be right back. All right, let's try this again. Got a little disconnect tool here. Go up on this line. And this one's too, might be too big to go on there. Let's get our, get our small end. And still, you gotta, you gotta love this mess. And that thing's still stuck up there. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Oh, it did. I heard, it, I heard it click back into place, but maybe it did loosen up. Let's hook this line back up. Dude. Let's hook this P tool back in there. Push it forward. No. Oh man, this is, are we really, am I really in here fighting this thing? <laughs> Alright, it seems like the bottom one, I can get, the top one, I can't. That means it sucks. Let's bring this line down a little bit more. Thank you. There it is. Whew. All right. That's done. Next thing we're going to do. All right. Now, let's get us a drain pan right here. And you see this right here? There's a little tab that you got on this fuel filter. You gotta push down on that tab and be careful because if you don't release the fuel pressure, it's gonna come, it's gonna fuel gonna spray out of there. So you wanna release that really slow. So you wanna push down on that tab and just back up and pull it off. We set get to we're gonna set this camera up so you can see this. All right, let me set this camera bare back. All right. Now, now we got the camera set up. Let's squeeze that tab in and back it. Pull that fuel, that line off. All right, just like that. All right, gonna let that drain down into the pan. As you can see, it's not that much coming out of there. And again, that's all you have to do is take that tab right there, push down, and the line will come right off. All right, let's change our gloves here. The gloves are soaking wet with gas now. 
All right, let's back our camera up. And the next thing we're gonna do is, now if you got a lot of gas in your in that car, you might wanna drain some out and this is a good time to drain it. Let me see if we can reach a drain in here and I'm gonna show you how I drain the, drain the gas out. Bear back. All right, what I got here, I got my little fuel pump. I set up to drain the gas out of out of the car in case there's a lot of gas in here. Now first of all, I wanna make sure that I can touch some gas. So when I take the, the inlet hose, I'm gonna put it right through here. Now, let's pick it out. See, it came out dry, so I'm not touching no gas. So I'm not even gonna worry about this yet until we get the tank lowered some. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we got our straps right here. Let's drop our straps down slowly. And what I'm also, what I might do is, <coughs> I'm gonna drop down one at a time so we can see if we can disconnect the electrical connectors on top. And everything and it's a good idea to have your jack stand your hydraulic jack up under there so we're gonna get our hydraulic jack set it up right in the center with a block of wood and hold the gas tank up in place while we take the straps out with these two bolts on each side all right be right back are you frustrated with repeatedly searching youtube for detailed automotive repair videos only to come up with videos that really don't show you the details that you need then come check out TopTechVideos.com. Allow me to explain. It's a database showcasing the most detailed automotive repair videos by the best YouTube content creators like Eric the Car Guy, Astro Auto Repairs, and more. If you would like to submit your videos or if you have seen a good automotive repair video and you would like to help the content creator grow their channel, all you have to do is go to toptechvideos.com and click on submit video now. It's that simple. And the best part, it's all free. So since you have nothing to lose, why not give it a try? Now let's get back to the show. All right, got a hydraulic jack up under there. And we got a piece of wood, a block of wood, up against the tank. So more cover more of an area. Now we got two bolts here, two 13 millimeter bolts. One hit the button by mistake and number two is right there so what we're gonna do here we gotta get our impact gun here we got a 13 millimeter deep impact socket half inch drive a four and a quarter inch extension half inch drive with our half inch drive air gun and let's go up under here And you don't have to worry about the tank dropping because we got the hydraulic jack up under there. All right, let's go over here and get this other one. Just right here. All right. We got both of them out of the way. And what you want to do is just bend the straps down. Make sure they're out of the way. And now what you're gonna do is start lowering the gas tank slowly. All right, so let's get you set up on the camera stand so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's our two bolts, let's set them to the side. All right, let's get the camera stand. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, that should be good because right now I got nothing coming out, which is surprising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Now I'm going to lower the jack. Slowly. And as you can see, our tank started coming down. <laughs> Disconnected. Now 
And as you're dropping down, as you can see it dropping down, make sure all your the lines we disconnected right here, and make sure they come down too. And that's just a vent right there. We ain't gonna worry about that. And get our hoses down. That's perfect. All right, let's drop it down. This thing got a lot of gas in it. <laughs> All right, you know what we're gonna do? Let's check our holes. Put our holes in there again. Let's see if we can, um, let's see how far we can go down first. try our fuel pump again and see if we put it through this hole will we reach some gas this time well I guess I guess in a way that's good <laughs> going to do now let's go outside to the other side so we're going to disconnect the electrical connector bear back okay we're on the side of the car over here with the jack and we're going to go up under here and let's go on this side and you see our fuel see our electrical connector right there that's what we're going to disconnect so what we're gonna do is, on this side, there's a little tab. Push that tab down, unplug it. There you go. Now tank is ready to come out. Let's go back on the other side. And see it's leaning at an angle because it's up against the exhaust system over there. But that's all right, so what we're gonna do is There we go. All right, now we're gonna drag this from under here. So, let's set you back out here so you can see a good look at this. easier for me if I just drag this out by itself. Alright, let's drag this from under the car. We'll be right back. Alright, here we go. We got our fuel tank out. Got dragged to the side. The next thing we're gonna do is get our pump off of here. Let's let you get you a good look at this. Alright. We got our fuel line over here, which is already disconnected. Now we got our electrical connector. What you're gonna do is go over here, pop it out of the clip. And I don't know if you can see. See that part over there. Unplug fuel tank pressure sensor you squeeze a little tab in right there and unplug it and we're good to go the next thing you want to do is clean up around all the dirt around the fuel pump because you definitely don't want that getting into your tank I got me a little airline here Now we're gonna remove it. Now, let's get a close up of this. You see this ring right here? 
that ring comes out. You can see the groove in it. Right there. So what you're gonna do is take a screwdriver and a hammer. You're gonna put on one of those tabs. And you now be careful because this is plastic, you don't want to break this. Unless you're changing the whole module, which is the whole thing. But if not, <laughs> you're gonna be changing the pump. And you can go around to the other side and maybe hook on right there. And what you're gonna do is tap it. And this thing, this ring is gonna unscrew and tap it counterclockwise. And you're gonna just get this ring to start moving. Let's get you set up so we can see that. So you can see how we're gonna do that. Alright. I got me a flat screwdriver with a hammer. And what I'm gonna do here. Let's take it. Came loose. And this thing, this thing is going like this, I don't know. Now the ring is up. Now your fuel pump's gonna come up. Now see, this is plastic. Do not grab right here. But you wanna take your screwdriver and you wanna slowly go around it carefully because this is plastic too. Pop that fuel pump module out of there. And, and this is not coming out too easy. why I do not like that's why I like this is why I like changing the whole module instead of just the pump because this plastic can definitely break There we go. So you saw how careful that would be. Very careful with that because that thing breaks. You know, it's a good idea, guys and girls. Get the whole module. Don't mess with this thing like this. And that's a good time to pay attention to how you're taking that thing out, too. You want to make sure you've got it with a line where everything is supposed to go. Go. And if, if you can, if there's no actual marking of where it's supposed to be what we're going to do here let's get us a little marker and we can mark that up all right be right back all right let's mark this where it must be at guys believe me if you get this if you do this job get the whole assembly the customer got the parts he wanted just the pump uh get the whole assembly because this plastic is not good. All right, so we got we got a pretty much line up where we're gonna mark this out at. Let's, let's take this uh, assembly out. Let's go get our drain pan, put it in there, then we're going to start draining this gas out. All right, be right back. All right, we got our pump out, put it on the back of the truck, and here's our fuel pump right inside there. To make this job easier, what we're going to do now, we're going to drain some gas out of here. 
what I got is a nice, empty, clean garbage pail. Get my fuel pump now. One end is going to go into the gas. And the other end, I'm going to hook it up. Just like that. Alright. We're going to connect this to the battery. And we should start this pumping this gas out of here. Alright, grab back. Alright, let's connect it. Let's go over here. Let's connect our positive. Let's connect our negative. So while we're changing over the fuel pump, this is taking this gas out here and makes this tank a lot easier uh, to put back in. Then we'll just reverse the order and siphon the gas back in. All right, let's get over there and change this fuel pump. Right back. All right, here we go at our fuel pump module. Hopefully you'll be able to get a good look at this. And what we have here is some bolts that we gotta take off. There's our fuel pump right there. So what we're gonna need here is a 3 16 quarter inch drive socket with our ratchet okay and what we're going to do here is let's loosen up this bolt on this plastic part right here let's take that one off first believe me Guys, it's better to just change the whole module. All right, we gotta take that one out first because we can't get to the bolt on the side over here. So let's put that bolt to the side. Now, we can start taking off our bolts, all the bolts around the, the housing. All these screws are the same, so you ain't got to worry about that. Let's turn it around this way. And actually, I'm doing this without even a ratchet. I'm doing this by hand. So these things are not that tight at all. Again, you're better off guys and girls getting the whole assembly on this now these parts this part right here holds down the fuel pump but I don't got to take those out as you can see it comes out just like that and looks like we got our two wires going to our center over here I'm gonna try to do this without having to disconnect the sender but what we're gonna do is let's disconnect our fuel pump That out anyway, dang it. Alright. Right, let's uh let's just get this thing up here. There we go, that's better. Now let's unplug our fuel pump. Of course, it's not going to be that easy. Let's get us a pair of needle nose and get that disconnected. All right, now we can see a little better. I got it out of the pan. Get my needle nose here. I'll squeeze this together and unplug this fuel pump. 
really, there's a tab right in there. This thing's giving me a hard time. You know what? I'm tired of this, man. Alright, we unplug it. Pay attention to how the fuel pump sets in there. Set the fuel pump out. Let's get our new one. Here it is. Now you make sure you change the socks. And that's they call also strainers. So what we do here is open this pack up. We got two strainers. There's a the little one for there. And we have a new ring, a new ceiling ring. And you want to pretty much put it exactly how this one is. Let's take this little cap off. Remember to take that cap off because not that thing is not going to suck up no kind of gas whatsoever. All right, line that up like that. Get our new strainer. Notice how this got a little thing on it. Make sure it stays right in place. Pull that off. Because if not, no gas is going to come in. Make sure that ring stays in there. Do not take that ring off. And then you're going to push this down. And then they got a little guide pin up there. So you want to push it down on it there. And then squeeze it. And you'll feel it. You'll hear it actually go down and lock into place. Great, that pump is done. Set our pump down, back in. Let's reach over here, plug our fuel pump up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, almost forgot here, almost forgot. Let's take this back out. Got our ceiling ring on the top. You see this little ring right here? It just goes right on the top, down just like that. Now we put that back down. Put the pump in there. Connect our pump. Put our pump back in, and if you look up in there, you see a little a hole right inside there. That's where your pump has to go right into. So we're looking at right between there. There we go. Push down, and if you if you're not sure about that, which you can always do. Was our little three eighths? You can actually take that top half off. And again, you don't have to use no ratchet or nothing. Take your two screws. And the one over this side. See, that takes that right up. So now, what you can do, you got your pump down there, your pump is secure. Your other screws, put them in. Okay, take out three sixteenths, let's go around and tighten them up. Okay, let's tighten those up and we'll be right back. Okay, we got those three bolts tightened up. Now we get our little, this little piece right here. And actually we can go over here, let's go over here and hook up our fuel line. Make sure that it's all tightened down. There we go. All 
right, let's get our two screws into there. reaching in, tighten them up. All right, let's tighten those up and we'll be right back. All right, last part, this little piece right here, get our last screw, it goes right into there. And we're gonna tighten this down. Let's go over here and check our fuel. How are we doing over here? Well, as you can see inside here. Got a lot of gas. And over here we still got some in the tank. So what I'm gonna do now is just tilt the gas tank to the side. So I can pick up the rest of it. I'm gonna take a hammer or something, get my hand little hammer and I'm gonna use that as a wedge. Hold it up in the place. Gonna take the rest of that gas out of there. All right, we'll be right back. All right, back over here. The last thing we need to do is change our last sock. And what you're gonna do here is just take your screwdriver. What is this? That's supposed to be in there. Yeah, that should have been in there. All right, what we're gonna do is take our screwdriver. And you can see our sock right there, how it clips on. And we're just gonna pry that up. Push it in place and make sure it lines up right with that little pin right there. Make sure that whole hole right there lines up with the pin. Alright, now you gotta push that thing on. Make sure that goes thing goes thing goes all the way down there, and you can see little pins. You see a little like a little stop right down in there, so you know exactly how far you got to make sure that thing is pushed down in there. All right, once you got that, it's still not over. Inside this little bag, you got little retaining rings. So those they get you two of them actually. What you want to do is. Take those rings, take one of them. And if you notice, one side is going to be perfectly flat, and the other side is going to, the, the little ridges are going to be sticking up. So, what you want to do is you want to take the side that's flat, put it on to that and you want to snap it because if you see there's a little lip right in there so you want to make sure you put that on there and push it into place and that thing's supposed to lock down and hold that on there there we go all right we'll be right back let's get this thing set in all right now, before we put the pump in, we want to change this gasket right here. Because 
this gasket will flatten out and it will cause you a leak and it can give you a check engine light too, an evap leak. So we're just going to pull that up, set it to the side and we got a new one inside here. And as you can see what I mean right here, you can see how this one, the old one, is kind of like flat, not round like the new one. And what we're going to do here is set our new one in the in the grooves. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of it is kind of difficult setting that thing down in there. Why they do it like that? I don't know. Kind of stupid. You know what? This thing is not. This is not working. I am not going to take a chance and put this up here. And this thing leaks because you can see this thing is not fitting at all. I am not going to use that. So we're going to go ahead and wipe this one off. And we're going to put our old one back in. And now I should have never took it out. But now the Let's go get our new pump. Bear right back. All right, guys. This this even the old one is coming out, and you got to make sure this thing is in there and sealed, or this thing is going to leak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little weather stripping. Take my time here, and I'm going to put a small little yeah, a small little bead around the tank and you can take your time with this I mean it dries pretty quick but it'll definitely give me enough time and what I'm going to do here is let that set for about 30 seconds to a minute and what I'm going to do is put the ring in there so it will stay into place because believe me, this if this thing if it, if the ring pops out like that, it's a good chance when you put that fuel pump back in and seal it up, put gas in it. When the customer fills it up, that gas gonna pour out of here, and then you're gonna drop this tank again. So you want to make sure this this ring sets down in there. And I might have to I might have to sit here and hold it for. A minute or two. Actually, it's, uh, actually, it's holding it already. So I'm gonna sit here and let this hold for a minute, and then we'll be right back. All right. Now you remember we marked the fuel tank. Actually, we didn't have to. If you look up under the fuel pump, guys, you can definitely get you a definitely. I don't know how to say it anymore, but get you a a module. We got a little tab right there, and we got a little tab on the other side that lines up right with those. So we're going to have one big one and one little one, so you can't mess it up. All right, so we're going to get those, and we're going to line those up and set this right in. Let me put some gloves on, and I'll be right back. All right, let's get our pump set in here. Make sure our tabs are about to line up. This being that this thing is spring loaded, gotta make sure this thing's setting, setting right. And actually, look at this on here. If you did a close up here, I noticed there's an arrow on the top of this tank, top of this pump, and I guess that's gonna tell me I'm lining up with that tab right there. Get this down. Oh, good. 
good thing too, because look, I was way off. <laughs> and this looks like these. Man, trust me, guys. Get you a, get you on the whole assembly. Don't mess, don't mess with this. This don't make no kind of sense. All right, it's down. Let's set our ring in there. Let's get our screwdriver and hammer, and we're gonna tap this ring around. Whoever the screwdriver is. Alright, Good thing I saw those marks because I was way off. <laughs> Alright, let's uh tap this clockwise, and what we're gonna do is go tap it until that little indent, that little lip right there stops right there up against that tab. Let's do both sides. Good. We're good to go. Let's bring our line back over here like this. Plug up our fuel tank pressure sensor. Gotta make sure that thing locks into place, man. All this dirt around here is stopping it. Okay. All right. Let's get ready to put our tank back up. Be right back. All right, we're ready to get our tank back in. Let's drag this around with no problem now. So, let's get this side. Let's get our cardboard back up under there. Set up nice and neat. And uh, let's get this tank back up. Be right back. All right, guys, girls. Before we do that, let's go up under here. Get our drain pan and all. Let's go change this fuel filter since it's right here and convenient. So, okay, there we go. All right, that should be a good angle for you. We've got our drain pan up under here. What we're gonna do here is get our flat screwdriver, and loosen up this clamp, take out this damn clamp. Okay. Really loosen up this thing. Get this harness out of the way. Remember this clip over here? On the other side of this, there's a little button, just like the other line. You want to push that little, push that button in. You see how the, the clips open up? Push it in and open it up. And have your drain pan ready because there's about to be some gas drop out of there. Just, I just happened to put the jack stand right in the way. See how dark that gas is? This fuel filter was clogged. Outside, see how clean that is? See how dark that is? That's how you know the fuel filter was clogged. And that will kill your fuel pump. All right, let's get our new fuel filter. Okay. 
same way it came out. Squeeze that right in like that. Okay, push our line on and it just clips right into place. Just like that. Tighten this clamp up and then we'll get our gas tank up under here. We'll be right back. Are you frustrated with repeatedly searching YouTube for detailed automotive repair videos? only to come up with videos that really don't show you the details that you need, then come check out TopTechVideos.com. Allow me to explain. It's a database showcasing the most detailed automotive repair videos by the best YouTube content creators like Eric the Car Guy, Astro Auto Repairs, and more. If you would like to submit your videos, or if you have seen a good automotive repair video and you would like to help the content creator grow their channel, all you have to do is go to toptechvideos.com and click on submit video now. It's that simple. And the best part, it's all free. So since you have nothing to lose, why not give it a try? Now let's get back to the show. All right, let's slide out gas tank up under here and now what we're going to do is get our hydraulic jack put it through the side put our jack our tank right up on top of it all right so as a matter of fact might as well show you i'm not even going to Cut this part out to show you. Jack this thing up. There. Now I don't want to do nothing yet. What I want to do is go to the other side and I want to hook up the fuel um, the fuel pump harness before I do anything. I gotta lay this down, but what I want to do here is okay. now let's go to the other side and hook up that harness. Bear right back. Alright, here we go on this side of the tank. Here's our wiring harness. Let's make sure this stays above the tank. And uh, line up our tabs right here. Squeeze it in till we hear a click. It's done. And we ain't gotta worry about this. We know this goes to the fuel right here, to the fuel pump, fuel filter. And actually, we can connect that right now. Just push it on till you hear a click. You gotta hear that click. All right, so that's connected. And we're not gonna worry about this line yet. I mean, actually we can. Let's, let's go over this side. Ouch. And Here 
there's that line right there. And what you want to do, that, those plastic clips right there, you want to make sure they're lined up with these openings right here. Let's see if I can get up under here better. There they go, right there. Makes it a lot easier to do this right now. And what I'm going to do is I have to do here, bring one hand down and hold it in place and then line those clips up and push them in. Let's see if we can see this. There we go. You heard it clip into place? So now, that's lined up. Let's see if we show you that. Right there. Now that's lined up. Perfect. Now let's jack this tank, tank up. Bring right back. Alright. Next thing we're going to do is jack this tank up. Make sure all your lines is out of the way. And you want to make sure your straps line up right with those indentations in the tank. And you notice I just had to move that over a little bit. Put our strap up in there. Figures. <laughs> it figures. Alright, let's get this strap around this way. strap up in here. There we go. Now let's get our impact gun, our four quarter inch socket extension with our 13 millimeter socket. Whatever that may be. <laughs> and then we're going to tighten this up. Be right back. All right. Now, we got our straps up here, either one. And we got our bolt in here. And what we're gonna do is put that right in there. Like that. I'm not gonna tighten it up yet. What we're gonna do is go over here to the other side now. And where is it? Right there. hands with this am I? Alright, let's see if I can show you this way. Okay. Clamp is down on this hose right here. So 
bring our clamp forward. Let's turn this around. Alright. See, it makes it a lot easier now because we know this will go in here and it'll clip right into place. I'm gonna have to use two hands because I have to hold this. There we go. Clipped into place. Now we got our big holes up here. Let's put that on. Let's get this clamp over here on this side. holes right here. Great. That's looking great guys. Alright. Get our screwdriver and let's tighten them two up. Right back. Alright. Everything is definitely connected up here. The next thing we're going to do is get all our tools up under here. Let's take our jack from under here and now we're gonna put out two t27 screws back in our evap line all right so let's go over there and do that and get this stuff from under here right back all right here's our line up under here the first one we're gonna get this bracket right into here so remember what is it we got, we got a t27 torx 12 inch drive, 12 inch extension 3 h drive and a 3 h drive ratchet. Let me put the camera down and we'll get that bolt started and get that tightened up right back. Alright, see I got that one started but I'm not going to tighten that one up yet. What you do is get our other bolt and we're going to go on the side over here where our line is. Leave that twisted up there. The next we got to do is get this them two up tighten them up and we'll be right back all right we got those tightened up now for the last part now we're gonna pump the gas back into the car which is not bad not not, not hard at all with this uh, pump right here what we do is just pop the thing get everything out of the way and then we're just gonna reverse the pump and I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna hook it up and we'll be right back here and then we're gonna hook it up Be right back all right we got the uh, inline into the into the tank into the, the can with the gas we got the outline going into there so let's go over here and connect this pump and get it going all right we'll be right back all right the pump is going we got it into the tank and as you can see into the car so we're gonna let that set for about five ten minutes and then we're gonna start the car up make sure there's no leaks up under there before we let it down then we're gonna drain the rest of the gas in there Be right back all right you know what while it's doing that we're gonna pause it we're gonna, there should be enough gas in there to start this vehicle up so before we do that we're gonna stop the fuel pump and then what we're gonna do is prime it for a little for a few seconds which means by priming it is it's hot in this car put the key in the on shut it off on 
off. And it gets that pump. Every time you cut it on, the pump stays on for about, about three seconds. So it's pumping that gas up there. So you want to keep on doing that. And then let's try to start it. There we go. Car's running. Now let's get up under it. I'm gonna make sure there's no gas leaks. There we go. Everything's good. So, let's go over here and shut the car off. Connect our pump back up, get the rest of the gas flowing in there, get the rest of the gas out of here. And in the meantime, we're gonna let this car down. We'll be right back. Okay, so that's how you change a fuel pump and a fuel filter on a 2002 Mercury Sable LS with a 3.0. Okay, it's very important to keep your filter, your fuel filter changed. That way it doesn't get clogged up and then puts a lot of pressure on the fuel pump and as you can see it's a lot of work to just change the pump so if you can get the whole assembly get the whole assembly it's going to be a lot easier for you all right and i think that was about it so if you guys have any comments or questions you can post them below in the comment section or you can email timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com it is getting super hot out here so let's go turn the ac on and get out of here so hope you paid attention if not pay it play, watch it again and if we can repair it nobody can see you next time